It's been a few months now since I have been dabbling into the FPV drone hobby and today I thought of making this short review of this brand new FPV drone made by Beta FPV, the Parvo 30 drone. To be really honest with you guys, I was really surprised when I heard that the Parvo 30 was coming out because I still have the 95X version 3. And before you know it, there is a new drone from Beta FPV. They're really quick at making new drones here. Anyway, let's just go through the specs of this drone. So the Pavo is categorized as a three inch pusher type drone, and it is one of its kind three inch pusher drone that Beta FPV ever made. The first thing that really struck me about this drone is the whole look of it. In my opinion, this has to be one of the nicest looking ready to fly drone that I have ever seen so far. In terms of construction, it is made out of plastic. And I know you're gonna say that plastic but it's actually made not from any plain kind of plastic. Apparently, Beta FPV says it's made out of a highly rigid, highly abrasion resistant plastic called PA12. So whatever that is. So I guess I have to take their word for it. Also, in case you're wondering, it still has some carbon fiber in the frame too, along the spine of it. So it's not just made 100% out of plastic, which is really nice and good to know. You can get the Pavo in two versions, an analog version and a digital one because I only have the DJI V2 goggles, I obviously got myself the digital version of this drone. For the digital version of this drone, it comes with a toothpick F722AIO35A FC board. And in terms of motors, they have put the 1506 3000 KV motors with a Gemfan D76 five blades for all you FPV nerds out there. Trust me, all these names and numbers don't really mean much to me as I'm still grasping this whole FPV stuff. Oh yeah, before I forget, it comes with with the Nebula Micro HD camera too. The power also comes with a built-in cable for you to plug your SMO 4K directly to it should you decide to use one. And you can also mount a naked GoPro on it too. But you would need to readapt the cable socket though if you do decide to use a naked GoPro or even a full GoPro as the stock cable socket is made for the Insta360 SMO 4K. Anyway, for those wondering, here is a quick size comparison to the Beta FV 95 xv 3 In terms of experience and samples. Being a newbie in this, I hope you guys do forgive me for the lackluster flying. Again, I'm still learning to fly smoothly with these FPV type drones. And so far, I have to admit, I still need tons of practice as you can clearly see in this footage. Also, I did not include any SMO 4K footage because last time I tried to fly with that, I literally crashed it and the socket really broke. And fortunately, I did repair it, but I don't intend to use it again until I get a lot better flying this drone. In terms of flying so far, I have found that this drone is substantially way more stable than the Beta FPV 95X. And in terms of jello in my footage, I could hardly detect any in my goggles. I'm sure it does have some form of jello somewhere if you really look hard enough, but honestly, it was pretty good and stable. Overall, I would say that I'm definitely impressed with the power and capability of this drone. However, drones like this, I have noticed doesn't do great when it's super windy because I did notice that it tends to drift with the wind if the wind is a lot stronger and whenever I was flying a lot higher I did notice that it could drift but generally nothing to be really really worried about especially if you're a good pilot. Oh, also there is one thing that really bugs me about this drone and it is the wire for the battery pack. I find it somewhat not well placed. When I have a battery plugged in I can hardly get the wires to properly fit at times. My only workaround is to plug in the wire first and then strap the battery. Even then it can really get hard to fit the battery in. So what are my conclusions? Who do I think should really get this drone? Well, to me, I seriously think being a beginner FPV pilot, I really like this drone. I find that it is really stable and it allows for some room of error being a cine. And right from the start, ever since I saw Potato Jet's like video where he was flying the Beta oh, FPV 95X version it's two and he was flying through gaps, I was definitely certain this is definitely the direction I want to be in in FPV droning. So yeah, I have no doubts that this is the kind of drone that I want. I'm sure perhaps at some point I might want to go into five inches, but being such a novice right now at flying, I don't think and I don't see that happening anytime real soon. So would I recommend getting this then? Definitely I would. However, if you are into more fast type five inch drones, then maybe you might find this a little less exciting. Right, I guess that's it for my review. I hope you guys did find this review useful. And if you did, please don't forget to do all those nice things like like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Thank you.